Thank you for staying with us. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Our next hot topic is NNPP suspends Kanu Governor Abayusu for anti-party actions. And to talk about that is Ladipo Johnson, the National Auditor of NNPP. Good morning and welcome to the program, Mr. Johnson. I don't know, I seem not to hear you well. Uh, did you mute yourself? Good morning and welcome. No, I'm, okay. yeah. I'm unmuted. Yeah, you're audible right now. Uh, give us an oh. update of what is happening between the NNPP in uh, Kanu and the governor. Let's hear what is and what is not. No, the, the bottom line is that there, there is nothing untoward happening. The governor has not been suspended. The governor is a good ambassador of the party. Um, I um, must tell you immediately that I read over the internet um, various, um, from various platforms this same story that the governor had been suspended by the NNP. This is um, not true. This is a story planted by um, people who have been expelled from the party, from the NNPP. You will recall that we had issues last year after the elections. And uh, some people were suspended and later expelled. Some were suspended. And these people have carried on. They are... Uh, They've filed several lawsuits, and um, a few of those lawsuits have been thrown out. In fact, you will recall that I think two weeks ago, we had a NEC meeting and national convention, on national convention on Saturday. The governor was there. INEC witnessed the NEC meeting, witnessed the national convention. And I am now, I was at the national convention affirmed as the national publicity secretary of the party. So if I do not announce that the governor has been suspended, he hasn't been suspended. Now, these people are bordering, the, bordering on the delusional. They have continued to say all sorts of things. And you cannot stop any person from standing on the rooftops and shouting whatever he wants to shout. But the bottom line, is that they were expelled, they've gone to court, they still have pending matters in court. They tried to get an injunction to stop Abuja before Honorable Justice Egwatu, and he threw it out. So that is the situation. And I, I'm pleading with the press because it seems now that anyone can release um uh, make a press release and then we all see it everywhere without anyone asking them who are you who they are how how do you become chairman board of trustees that's um how where what happened to the other the board what happened to the um, national working committee or national executive how do you go from complaining that you were wrongfully suspended. Within a week, you now find yourself, or you say that you are now acting national chairman. Mm. This same person that calls himself a national chairman was our publicity secretary, if you remember, Gilbert Abu. Mm. And he announced the expulsion and um, suspension of some of these people, only to join them about a week after, to start to say all sorts of things. So these things, it's difficult to stop them. There's a court order that has said they should not parade themselves. But they are in contempt of that order. The matter is still ongoing. So we just say to the press and to Nigerians, NNPP is intact. Yes, we have some people who have left the party, who are not happy about it, and we have encouraged them to follow the rule of law. They have started that, but they still decide or they're still keen on releasing falsities into the Nigerian, um, um, Nigerian um, public space. 
And I understand. Because that is how they feed themselves. They are being sponsored. You will re you, you recall that um, uh, the former governor of Kanu, um, now national chairman of the APC, Ganduje, you recall that he was purportedly um, he was suspended by his ward. All of a sudden, the APC in Kanu, some of them now start to say it was the NMPP. It doesn't concern us. It's their internal affairs. And then all of a sudden, we now see this. So I know that my friends, some of them were my friends or are my friends. I don't know if they'll say hello to me now. <laughs> Who release, made press releases during the Supreme Court case, stating that Abba Kabir Yusuf, the governor of Kanu, is not a member of our party. These same people supporting the case of the APC. Well, we thank God, justice prevailed and we won. So they are the ones doing and saying all these things, spurious accusations, false innuendos into the public space. Please ignore. If you do not hear from the National Working Committee, I know you contacted me because, you know, I'm a member of the National Working Committee. Mm. I am now the publicity secretary of the party. If you do not hear announcements from us, then these are people just playing politics and trying to bring the image of the party into disrepute. Okay, uh, we've established that, that's okay. Um, they may be falsehood and all that. They say no smoke without fire. Um, we're not trying to say what they're saying is true, but we would like to know specific accusations that they leveled against the governor so that you can puncture them as well. They said anti-party. So let's, let's get to know what they are calling anti-party and then give if us you, a response to them. If you read their article or their press release, the sole thing was that he attended the convention the convention two weeks ago mm. so they say he attended the convention of a faction blah 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 there is no faction they are not a faction we are the party at the moment if you want to know the registered uh, members or the registered executive recognized executive you go to INEC they'll tell you INEC were there when we transited to what we have now, I moved from National Auditor. They felt I would do better um, as National Publicity Secretary. So I'm in that acting position now for the next two years, all things being equal. Because it, with, in two years' time, we will now have a proper elective convention into all the positions mm. under the Constitution. Mm. So that is it. They, they accused him of going for um, the um, neck and the uh, uh, convention that was held. And this is the convention with due notice to INEC. INEC were at the National Executive Committee meeting on Friday, and they were at the convention on Saturday. Not just uh, the, the full blown INEC, led by a director. So they were there. Well, these people were just calling. They were just calling the convention a convention by the Quanquasia, which means uh, it's just a faction, uh, people who no, believe in Quanquasia and cheap, all that. Um, that's uh, cheap, cheap populist. Um, uh, that's cheap populist um, propaganda. If it were a convention by the Quanquasia, the Quanquasia is not a party. You cannot stop Quanquasia and his supporters because he has a movement from being members of a party if they happen to be majority in the party and are there legally have been participating together with you complaining at the moment then you can't blackmail them it's just cheap blackmail and that we will not allow to happen you see there are many serious things that we have to we have to reposition the party we have to restructure the party 
we had a constitutional amendment during the convention because it's only the convention that can amend parts of the constitution. We did that. As I said, INEC was there. We're following due process. Now, the fact that Rabiu Musa Kwankozo was there, or that the governor of Kanu was there, or that members of um, the House of Reps, uh, House of Assembly from Kanu, the Speaker, and many other people from across the country, from every state and the FCT. The fact that they were there doesn't mean that it is a Kwankwesia program. That's just cheap, sentimental bulldash. Forgive my French. Hmm. Okay, but yeah, what are the prospects of this? Line. What? Yeah. What are the prospects of this LNPP, especially in Kanu? I know that that's where you have a governor. It should be, it should be like the stronghold. And then uh, uh, the Kwankwaso the is from there, who is a very, uh, very instrumental to the formation and sustenance of this party and all that. But it's also, it's like a war ground. The chairman of no, no, the, no, no. the uh, ruling let party. Me, let me correct something. Yes. Kanu is not a war ground not for the NNPP. The NNPP is in Kanu. As you said, we have the, we have um, 19 members, House of Reps from there, majority of the House of Assembly, governor, the speaker, what have you, from Kanu. Now, the war ground is Nigeria. And we don't see it as a war ground, but for your purposes, those who are shouting, who are crying, or making false insinuations are around from different little spots around the country. Let me correct something. And that is part of why we have the Woga. We always tell the truth. Kwankwazo was not formation. And you said it's very important to the formation of the party. No. The party was, is a 20-year-old-plus party that was in existence before Kwankwazo, the TNM, there's a group, the TNM, and the Kwankwazo, before we all joined him in um, 2002. We did, we had a convention, all the bodies were uh, dissolved, all the organs, before ne INEC, they were dissolved, all these things are there. Then they put in caretaker committees, to midwife congresses and the convention, which they did. At that convention, I was elected or ratified as the national auditor, if you remember. So INEC has been following that. Now, all of a sudden, halfway through, some of you, including one of the founders of the party, felt he was above the Constitution. He was suspended, and thereafter, um, expel. It's happened before. If you recall what happened in Abga, that went all the way to the Supreme Court. They, it is constitutionalism. No one is above the Constitution. Now, these are the people who continue to constitute a nuisance and say all sorts, despite the fact that their matter is in court or their matters, because they filed in different jurisdictions, despite the fact that the matters are in court. So they, they are the ones that are constituting that. Kanu itself is intact as a party. Yes, the state might have issues with the former governor Danduje of APC or whatever, but as NNPP, the Kanu state's chapter is intact, the governor is um, still a member of the party and they are in consonance with the national body of the NMPP and of course around the country as well. That is the situation. The people who are talking, they will they'll release something else tomorrow and Nigerians should be ready for that. Okay, um, well, I know, I know you've, you've defined what you can call the, the war ground as, um, as the entire country, but this is what I meant. Uh, you are a, an opposition party uh, when it comes to the national scene. It's, uh, you are an opposition party, and you are also uh, having yeah. a stronghold in a state that has the chairman, the national chairman 
of the ruling or progressives party. And then you just mentioned a fact that um, there's been, well, to some people there's been a fight, but this is a legal thing that, that the governor is doing to try to probe the previous administration. But some people have even also attributed the problems, if you may, that the governor is, might be having, that you have just uh, punctured there now, that is not a problem, uh, to the fact that he's fighting the national chairman of APC, and that's why all these things are happening. So there's bound to be this back and forth and this fight and all that. So I'm asking what the prospects of NNPP are in the future in a state like Kano, which will be a slap on the APC if they don't take it over by next election. Well, the APC had, um, they were in government in Kano when we held the election. You know what it is in Nigeria for the opposition to take over a state during an election mm. with all the uh, faulty processes and the powers wielded by a sitting governor or sitting president. Furthermore, Abba Kabir Yusuf and our elected members of the House of Assembly in Kano, the Speaker and others, are doing or are rendering good service to the people of Kano. So I predict, and I, I assure you, I'll go as far as saying that, that by 2027, you will see that the NMPP will even make bigger, larger gains, political gains, I'm talking about um, seats in the House of Assembly, etc. come that election. Mm. I believe that if the governor is contesting that he will get a re-election, if he chooses not to recontest, the party will still produce the governor and we will spread to other states, especially in the north. So, I have no doubt about that. You see, when a party is growing, especially in our crime in Nigeria, that is when you have members of other parties sponsoring people to try to retard the growth of that party. We know that. And we're ready for them. And that is why every time they come out to say things like this, we come out to puncture. But I need for the press in Nigeria to ask questions. Ask them where they held their own convention. How they became a, a so-called faction. We don't have a faction. They are out of the party before they started saying they were getting themselves together. There is nothing about them before the regulator, which is INEC. So all these things, including the court battles, make us stronger. Virtually all our representatives in Canada had to face the tribunal. The APC took all of them to court, virtually all of them, not just the governor. Of course, the governors all went all the way to the Supreme Court, and we know what happened. These processes have made us stronger as a party. We have learned hard lessons. And we are working. That is why you see, immediately after the elections and everything, we said we wanted to restructure, to bring about a more vibrant, efficient, or efficiently run party that will take its message to the people of Nigeria. Now, these people are just irritants that try to disturb the work that we have ahead. But that is my job now. As the new National Publicity Secretary, I will make sure that Nigerians know at every turn what is happening with the NNPP. Because we will not just be talking to the people, we will be listening to them. And then we will tailor our message, our manifesto, especially regarding insecurity, healthcare, Medicare, infrastructure, and of course education, which we are well known, of, known for. 
to the needs of Nigeria. When you talk about education, it's not just from secondary school to the university. We're talking about vocational education, ICT, information communication technology, things that will move Nigerians ahead of their West African and African counterparts. We will make sure that we position the youth of Nigeria to take advantage of the African free trade zone um, um, area to make sure that we bring more prosperity and wealth into this country. We are determined to do that. And these irritants, as I call them, forgive me for using that, are just trying to slow us down. But we will do both. As we move along, we'll keep answering them and make sure that um, we, they do not stop us from bringing to the people the, the, the dividends of democracy. Mm. Okay, uh, well, um, thank you for giving us an update and telling us the prospects of NNPC in uh, not only Kano, but in Nigeria as well. I will wish you well now and in the next cycle of the election. And uh, would like to thank you for being a part of our program this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, I uh, would like to thank uh, Mr. Ladipo Johnson, who is the uh, current national uh, publicity secretary of the NNPP. We're talking to him about what is happening in Kanu and the fact that uh, some people are claiming that uh, the Kanu state governor, Abba Yusuf, has been suspended. I would like to thank him for sharing his thoughts and updating us on what is really happening. According to him, nothing like that is happening. Uh, these people are not even a faction of the NNPP, but they are people who have been removed from the party a long time ago. So there's no saying that uh, whoever has been suspended from a party uh, or by members who do not even exist in that party. We'd like to say thank you not only to our guests this morning, but to you as well for being a part of our program this morning. Let's do it again tomorrow. My name is Nyam Gul Agaji.